business combinations will be dealing with accounting for business combination if they do not constitute business the same shall be considered as asset acquisition balance of the retained earnings in the book of the acquiry entity the first thing that we have to understand is the transactionary practice Good morning and welcome to the first session in Unit 5 in IFRS where we are going to talk about a very important topic called as the Indian Accounting Standards on the Business Combination. Now what is this Business Combination all about? Now the Indian Accounting Standard 103, which is the, this is the standard number which talks about business combinations deals with accounting for business combinations in standalone as well as consolidated financial statements. So let us try to understand the statement first. It tries to tell us that business combinations will be dealing with accounting for business combination. Let's see, for example, this is a standard that's going to talk about what are all the business combinations a particular entity can have and how this is going to be discussed in the financial statements altogether. So you need to represent each and every data in your financial standards as far as possible. Followed by how are we going to go further is a set of assets that is acquired liabilities assumed are typically regarded as business if they can get together, run independently as a going concern. So what we are trying to look here is that a set of assets and liabilities that are acquired. So over a period of time, if the business has acquired something typically together and they're working as an independent factor here, they, it, it's like a going concern. At one point of time, you will be able to see that they are typically regarded as one business and they are considered to be moving on with the accounting principle called as the going concept which creates a lot of factor it consists of inputs and process applied to those inputs which has the ability to create an output so combining all those businesses giving on an input value there automatically you are able to get a meaningful output but all of these things have to be translated back in terms of the accounting standards and that is where the set of assets are mandatory they have to be come into picture and we have to use the Indian Accounting Standard 103. If they do not constitute business, the same shall be considered as asset acquisition. Now, after acquiring a business, if I'm not going to constitute as a business entity, I'm not going to run it like a company, I've just acquired it like any other property, then that would be considered here as an asset acquisition. Moving further, one of the most common essential elements covered in this standard in this manner of accounting is the common control transaction. But before we start discussing about the accounting procedure, it is very, very crucial to understand the meanings of control and common control. Let's try to get into that factor. But then uh, let me just give you the hint here. What we are trying to do here is that we are trying to understand the aspects of controlling in the common business factor. So what does the entity have all together in terms of holding the perspectives in of that particular business of that particular entity all together. Now moving further, the Indian Accounting Standard 103 has defined common control business combination as a business combination in which all the combining entities or businesses are ultimately controlled by the same person. So it is controlled by the same person there, both before and after combination. And this is not, you know, this is where I would say that it, this control is not transitory in nature. So this is not going to be something transitory, which means it is not going to keep moving from one place to another place. So what we are trying to say, a common control factor is that the combination which has, which all the combining entities or business are 
ultimately controlled by the same person. So one person, one group holds the entire command all together. Now Reliance Industries, that is controlled by Mukesh Ambani. Reliance Industries is a parent company under which you will see Reliance Geo coming in or probably the Reliance uh, Supermarkets coming into picture or the we are talking about Reliance Jewels or Reliance Fashion or Reliance uh, Capital. All these kind of things which are now coming under one person control. That's what we say as a common control or a common process in terms of the business entities. Now, we also try to look into this factor as all identified assets and liabilities will be accounted at their carrying amounts. When I say carrying amounts, no adjustment would be made to reflect their fair values like in the case of common control business. Why this is very, very important when I talk from the accounting implication standpoint is that this will be accounted at their carrying amount. So at the value itself, at the carrying value amount itself, we are going to take it. No adjustment would be made to reflect their fair value. So we are not going to reflect any fair value, unlike in the case of non-common, that is the control business combination factor. So there we are not going to get inside. We are not going to talk about any of the other factors in terms of controlling or in terms of bringing in any control factor. So that is where I would always say that it is mandatory for us to understand it is going to be pitched in at the same value it is not going to be adjusted at any cost now the next thing is that balance of the retained earnings in the book of the acquiry entity who is going to acquire the acquiry entity shall be merged with the acquirer that is the person whom we are going to acquire to that of the acquirer the identity of the reserve shall be preserved so you have to tell at what is the balance at which it is being taken over by another company and what is the value at which we are going to look at it so we have to maintain the reserves as an identity purpose altogether because balance of retained earnings in the books of both of them have to be preserved clearly to say at what levels the acquisition was done followed by any difference whether positive or negative shall be adjusted against the capital reserve. That's why we call it as amalgamation adjustment deficit account. The amalgamation adjustment deficit account is nothing but if there are going to be any positive or negative value balances altogether. Now, for example, say Reliance acquires another infrastructure company or acquires any other uh, FMCG company here. So automatically the adjustment has to be made against the capital reserve and not in any other place. So the amalgamation, the combination adjustment of the deficit account has to be looked in very, very clearly. Now, with this factor, we'll also say no goodwill can be recorded in the books under the common control transaction accounting standard 103. So that is very, very evident here. No goodwill can be recorded in the books under the common control factor. So that is where when we are talking about it, so we are trying to understand the, the factor that goodwill cannot be recorded separately. It cannot be taken in into a factor, into an adjustment ideology altogether. So that is why this has to be kept in place. This has to be managed. This has to be maintained altogether. So with these factors, please understand that whenever we are getting into it, the first thing that we have to understand is the transactionary practice. So in this transactionary practice, you will try to understand that the goodwill cannot be recorded. It's not a common standard at all. With this, I come to the end of this particular session. I hope and believe that this session would have been of a great help and resource to you. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to talk more about the different IFR standards and what difference that is really make in terms of the accounting world. Until then, stay tuned, stay blessed and stay enlightened forever. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.